quick challenge to you. Some of us, perhaps, are perhaps just sitting and waiting, wondering, like, what does God want me to do? You know? Good question. It's not wrong to ask. You should wrestle with that stuff. Some of us, however, are overthinking the issue. Like, oh, does this fit me? Does this da 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 da? Just simply ask yourself, like, what is the expressed will of God? Right? What is God's vision? What is his desire for you, for the church at large, for his kingdom, for the people? And once you realize it, just know every single aspect of God's will is going to be food for you. And therefore, by your identity, you should be able to say, this is my desire, this is my value, and I'm absolutely willing to do the will of the Father. Because that was my identity, and for that I'm down, right? Please understand that God's desire for you is not to have a nice, manageable life with a manageable schedule, with a manageable family, and manageable church. He wants you to pursue Christ with everything, amen? And the challenge for you tonight is when you think about your identity, that is at the core. When you say to the Lord, I want you to the full, I want to be complete in Christ, there is your identity. And it is our common fallen condition where we regularly lower God's standard to accommodate our weakness. That is an exercise of sight and not an exercise of faith. Are you down to bear the burden of loving the guy next to you? Are you down to bear the burden of loving the person sitting right by you? Truthfully speaking, sometimes people think ministry is, I don't know, teaching from the pulpit. Ministry is organizing and having a, some kind of title and being like in a certain position. That's not the case. The one on others is ministry. And what's going to be super encouraging to you, all your leaders at church is when they see you, just look to the guy next to you and start ministering to them by knowing them, loving them, and just caring for them. When you take the initiative, can I, you know, just want to find out how you're doing. You want to grab boba? Let's talk. The moment you do that, all of your leaders' hearts are filled with encouragement. They're just like so thankful. Why? You're doing their work, right? You're sharing the burden of caring for the souls of the church. That's ministry. Heavenly Father, we do want to thank you, God, because when we stop and think of what you have done, it is incredible. God, that you would initiate this kind of love towards us, that is unfathomable. And God, you have said, not a single person counseled you to do this. And so God, we can do nothing but thank you. But I pray, Lord, because we are sometimes people of sight, and what we see is a broken world, what we see is inefficiency, what we see is sin in others, and we see sin in ourselves. God, we confess, that it is very easy for us to complain about every one of those things. But God, I ask that we would regularly seek Christ and to be filled with him so much that no complaint would come out of our mouths because we are filled with gratitude. We thank you in Christ's name, amen.